Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. And actually, it's not even morning, it's 1 p.m. But still, hi, I'm starting off the vlog here. Well, I did like a nice morning montage this morning, but officially starting it right now. And I figured I'd give you guys a little OOTD, even though it's like super boring and the lighting is so bad in that mirror. I feel like there's dry shampoo legit everywhere because I put so much in my hair and then I ended up styling it with like spray, so I don't even know why I bothered. But today's fit, super simple, pretty much all Lulu. This is like the oversized scuba jacket. Then these are Lululemon lines. I'm wearing my TNA ankle socks and I'm just wearing a Calvin sports bra underneath. But that is today's fit. Today I mostly just have like some errands to run. I need to I need to go buy tape. I still have to get a gift for the Christmas party I'm having this weekend. So I need to do that. And I have to get something for my sister. So there's a few places I want to go. I want to go to that place for my sister. I want to go to Paper Source, which is in like Hyde Park area. And I need to go to... Well, if I go to the Hyde Park area, there's an anthropology there. And that'd be good for the gift. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. So we'll see. But it's already one. So I'm thinking maybe I will eat something for lunch. And then I'll head out. Faragi in his cones. Just a sleepy boy. But I'm going to feed him some lunch. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah. Okay. You be careful with those Stitches, mister. And those breakable legs. I'm making my salad, my favorite lunch salad. And I'm so excited because if you guys watched yesterday's Vlogmas, you will have heard me say that my new niece is gonna be born any day now. And I was right, because she's on her way to be born as we speak. Um, I think my what is she called? My sister-in-law? My brother's wife? Is that my sister-in-law? Um, I just realized I always say my brother's wife, but she would be my sister-in-law. Yeah. Um, but anyways, she's in labor. She went into labor overnight, so. Yee! Third niece on the way. It's going to be so weird because both of my nieces are from my sister. And this one is from my brother. And also, like, I always had this weird feeling that I was going to have kids before my brother. I don't know why, but clearly I'm not even. We should probably get a girlfriend first. <laughs> Sometimes my Alexa doesn't talk, and I don't know why, because I don't change any settings. And then she'll just start talking again. Sometimes she's just in a bad mood. Guys, <laughs> one thing about me is that if somebody says that something is, like, good for you or, like, can prevent diseases and things like that, I'm gonna eat it. Like, without question, that's getting added to my diet, or if I already eat it, I'm eating it more. Like, I saw this one video of this lady saying that olives are really good for you, and they have like anti-cancer properties and things like that, and I love olives. Olives are like one of my favorite foods. I know I love every single type of olive. Green are my favorite. And suddenly, olives are included in my daily salad. I mean, I've had them in my fridge, but I've always just been like, eh, I don't feel like getting a spoon out to dig them out of the jar. No, not anymore. Now we are, in fact, eating them daily. I also realized, talked about how good apples are for you in that same video. And I also realized I never eat apples. 
Like why? I am filming, uh, or I just filmed an ad for Air Up. And first of all, this light I got is amazing, game changer. But second of all, I tried putting coffee in my Air Up. And you're gonna have to watch the ad on TikTok to know what I think of it. But I'll give you a, a secret, a sneak peek. Amazing. And this is not sponsored. This coffee with an Arab pod is really good. I'm trying to decide what shoes I want to put on and I'm kind of thinking, I'm wearing all black. So this is like the perfect time to wear my hokas. So I don't wear them that much. But yeah, you know what? We're just gonna wear the hokas. It'll be a nice change. Also, somebody said that these remind them of Tide Pods. <laughs> And I can't see it. I feel so, so bad leaving Augie, but he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. I'm going to go get a coffee and then I'm going to go to the jewelry store and then Hyde Park. Honestly, I don't know exactly. This lighting is scary, but I'm just going to go hop around, do some errands. Yeah. You guys, I'm so happy right now. First of all, just got a coffee. And I feel like, why, like, there should be like a standard at like Starbucks that's like what light cream is versus like what normal cream is. Cause like sometimes I ask for cream and it's perfect. Sometimes I ask for cream and it's white. Sometimes I ask for light cream because the day before it was white. And then they give me like a black coffee. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna start asking for cream on the side. So I had to do that. I had to ask for cream on the side because I was like, I just need to get this. <laughs> I'm just like, why is it always different? But I'm so excited because that tastes really good. And also, if you guys remember, me and Addie ordered matching rings and mine came in the mail and it's so cute. It's like, <clears throat> I wish it was like a half size smaller, but there was only three sizes. So small, medium, large. So I got a medium. Glad I got a medium, but it is a little bit big. And then but it doesn't fall off my finger because I got fat knuckles. And then I also got my package from Okay to Rest, but I'll show you guys that stuff when I get home because it'll be easier, but I'm gonna go run and I'm gonna go to a piercing store because I just recently got this Tragus earring and I don't really think I like it. Like, I think it's really cute, but every time I see it like in passing, I'm like, it just looks weird on me. So I'm gonna go get a different one, I think. All right, y'all. I'm back. I was only gone for like an hour and a half, but it feels like I was gone the entire day. But I wanna show you what I got from OK to Rest because I'm super excited. So, I got this hoodie that says, spark new growth, rest when needed. And then on the back it says, take what you need when you need. And it says time spent, and then like a list of a bunch of things like resting, crying, chatting, yelling, loving, whatever, is not wasted super cute little hoodie. I got this crew neck that says, sensitivity is a virtue, the world needs your softness. Super cute. And then I also got the iconic OK to Rest blanket. But that was super fun. I might put that on my couch instead of the one that's there now. That is what I got and then I also just got um, this little Tragus earring for myself and some tape. You guys, I need to show you something immediately. Hold on, this is hard to do with one hand. I have this weird vinegar smell in my apartment and I don't know where it's coming from. And so I opened up these windows for the first time. I've never opened my windows because it's just always too humid in Florida. And look, what is that a dried up Lizard, you're, oh my God. I just accidentally beheaded him. <gasps> you're kidding me. Ew. How is that even a thing? <laughs> Full body chills. That is disgusting. Okay, back to the vinegar issue. I like don't know what's going on there. I Googled it and it says mold, but this is a brand new, Brand new apartment, and like, 
I don't see any mold, but I did put in a work order to like check out the air vents and stuff. But, I don't know, super weird. All right, you guys know the drill. We're making dinner, so therefore, we're gonna have a poppy, I mean, an Olipop with a Feel Goods Immunity thingy. I'm gonna pour the immunity thing at the bottom this time. Augie has been standing on his hind legs for like a solid 30 seconds. Augie, that's so weird. I'm doing an orange squeeze Olipop this time. I feel like it's gonna be really good. Taste test. Mm. That one's nice. That's really good. I like it better with the ginger lemon Olipop just because the flavors are so similar so they really like complemented each other. But <clears throat> regardless, um, I'm gonna make some dinner now. I'm gonna make pasta with some ground beef and like this like spicy pesto sauce that I've been having. It's like a, it's not pesto, like it's not basil pesto, it, but it's like a pesto because of, it's like prepared the same way, but it's made with hot peppers. So it's like spicy. Uh, I'm gonna have that with some spinach and some broccoli. I mean, cauliflower. So, let's get cooking. Tonight's dinner, we have some uh, chickpea pasta with spinach and pesto, like the pepper pesto, some cauliflower that I kind of mashed up with like butter and spices, and then just some ground beef on the side. <laughs> Hi, Conehead. Ignore my hair if it looks a little whack. I just took it out of the thing and brushed through it, so it's a little bit cray at the moment, but I'm gonna make a big old, actually not that big. I'm gonna make a shower tea with today's tea. Day nine, we have Black Currant Beauty. This is rose hip, hibiscus flower, and licorice, beetroot, black currant fruit, natural black currant flavor, orange essential oil flavor. Okay. Well, we'll give it a go. Do a smell test. Well, we know by now that it all smells the same. <laughs> but actually, this one has like a blackberry type smell to it. Is black currant similar to blackberry? Or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Let's look up what black currant is. First off, am I pronouncing it right? Black currant. Black currant. Okay. It's. A berry. Let's read its health benefits. I love to do this. High in antioxidants, including vitamin C. Cool, I need vitamin C. And it's good for your skin. Ooh, it's good for kidneys. My little diabetic self needs that. <laughs> okay. Ow. Let's pop her in. The bag's like open. Oh my. The bag's like open. Loki kind of looks like an animal got to it. <laughs> oh well, we'll test it in a few minutes. Alrighty. It's gonna be really hot still. But you guys know I want to take it in the shower. So. Oh, it smells very herbal. This might be one of my least favorites. It's just kind of like in your face in a weird way. Like I don't really like the herbal teas and it's like very herbal. Four out of 10. But anywho, I really hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas day nine. Yeah, Vlogmas day nine. Today was a good day. I feel like I actually did more for you guys. Um, but I love you all so much and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day 10. Day 10. Okay. Good night.